off camera, folks. You have no idea what just happened, but and I probably won't really tell you, but if you catch me in a bar, I'll explain. Uh, neutral stimulus has to do with classical operant. Really? Really? Negative? Really? <laughs> hold on hold on folks here we go this is no longer going to be a neutral stimulus i'm going to punish myself all right here we go now this neutral stimulus is no longer neutral all right let's try this again all right so um the term is neutral stimulus neutral stimulus we only refer to them when we're talking about uh classical conditioning often referred to as respondent or pavlovian conditioning um a stimulus that does not elicit right, a, a response is neutral. So in other words, the various type of responses we're talking about are reflexes. So because we're talking about classical conditioning, right? So in classical conditioning, we work with reflexes. A stimulus that does not, does not elicit a reflex is neutral. So I'm playing around with this little rubber here, um, and that rubber does not elicit a reflex. It's just a thing. It doesn't doesn't have any value to me. It doesn't it has no reflexive value, so to speak. Um, so it doesn't elicit anything in me, so we could say it's neutral. However, we could pair this with something to make it not neutral. At that point, we get into um, condition stimuli and things like that. So, uh, but neutral stimuli do not elicit anything, uh, any do not elicit any uh, reflexes in individuals until you do something with them. So basically everything in your world is a neutral stimulus.